Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now guess what? You know what I'm gonna say, this is the place to be if you want to start, run and scale a creative or handmade business on Etsy and beyond. If you're new here, my name is Steph and I am the founder of Handmade Bosses. Now, before we get in to the juiciness that is today's video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new fab videos such as this, which is gonna really help you with your handmade business. So today we are going to be talking about how to know what Etsy products to make next. If you're thinking, okay, Steph, I have, you know, I've created some products, I'm getting some traction, but now I need to like ramp this up. I need to make some more products. How do I know what to make next? Well, that is what I'm gonna be telling you in this video. So I'm interrupting my own video to bring you something that you need to know if you want to implement this stuff in the best way. And that is your conversion rate. So just a very quick lowdown. We have Joanne here who sells $20 necklaces, okay? And she has a conversion rate of 1%, which basically means one out of every 100 browsers buy from Joanne which basically means that it's $20 out of every 100 people. Not bad, right? But what if we could increase this to 1.5% to 5% or even 10%? That means that that is increased to $200 out of every 100 people. We are not changing Joanne's shop. We are not changing what she stocks. We're not changing the amount of people that are brought in from social media, from her email list or all these kinds of places, okay? We're not even changing our SEO. All we are changing is our conversion rate. And that is what I want to come to you today to say that I have an amazing class for you, which details exactly how to increase your conversion rate, increase that number so that you can get more revenue from your Etsy shop. The link for that is in the description box below. Make sure you get your free seat on this 90 minute masterclass. And I'm gonna show you in 90 minutes how to increase your conversion rate in seven days or less. Back to the video. Tip number one is what is working well for you right now? Now that is like the number one thing is you need to stick to what's working for you right now. Don't reinvent the wheel if you know that people are coming to your shop for one specific type of products. Stick with what is working for you and just create unique takes and variations of that best selling products. Because one thing I do see a lot of, and we have had over 350, I think probably more like 400 at this point, bosses go through the Handmade Bosses Success Academy. And one of the most common things that I see which is a real problem, which is why a lot of shops do not grow and don't build that brand, is that they're creating too many different types of products. They're like literally going, well, I make jewelry, so I'm gonna make earrings, I'm gonna make necklaces, I'm gonna make gemstone braces, I'm gonna make acrylic necklaces, I'm gonna make min minimalistic jewelry, and they'll put it all in the same shop, when in actual fact, they've not just stuck with what is selling well for them and just creating additional variations on that. Okay? Okay, it's like when you see Chanel number five, they're not reinventing the wheel every time. All they're doing is just bringing out variations of that same fragrance in a more floral scent, in a more masculine scent, in a more musky scent. It all started with that original Chanel number five. They saw it, they made a lot of sales. They thought, hmm, okay, people are buying a lot of fragrance from us. You didn't see them bringing out like all this, like body soaps and all this kind of stuff. No, they stuck with what worked, but they created variations of it. It's the same for you in your shop. And one thing I am gonna say, which is kind of like an additional tag on point to this, is don't make for yourself, make for your customers. I think that, are you sitting down for this? Because I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, that that struck me where it hurts death but it is true like you are not creating products for yourself or your family members or whoever else you are creating products for your customers your customers are giving you little um hints and and literal like waving their flag saying hey i like this thing when they are favoriting your item when they're purchasing your item when they're leaving feedback for your item those are the flags that you need to 
to follow. So instead of like reinventing the wheel and bringing in all these other products, just make what is already working for you. Tip number two is look at listing stats. How are people finding you? Now this is gonna give you um, little kind of hints as to how people are finding your shop and what they want to see from you. Therefore, what you should be making next. So if people are coming into your shop and they're looking for a gold heart locket necklace, but all you make are rose gold, big round locket necla necklaces, it could be that actually, maybe you should be making some more gold heart locket necklaces to fulfill those people coming into your shop. What search terms are they using? How are they finding you? Look at individual listing stats and the search term beta function under the marketing tab within your Etsy shop or in the Etsy app as well. Look at both of these things, especially around the time when you're starting to create some more products. You definitely wanna make sure to be monitoring these because believe it or not, this is literally, again, those people saying, I want this thing, I came into your shop to buy this thing, but you didn't have it. So again, guys, like think of search terms and how people are finding your shop as a direct little flag that they're waving and saying, I want this thing, can you make it for me? Tip number three is do some target market research. What kind of people are they? What type of stuff are they favoriting? If you go in to your reviews or your messages and you click on your customer's Etsy profiles, nine times out of 10, you will see that they have favorited other shops, other items. These are clues, guys. Again, it's that flag that they're waving saying, I wanted to buy this from you, but you didn't have it. And now I had to go somewhere else to buy it. So go and have a look and see what other things that your customers are in essence wanting to buy that they cannot buy from you. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, give it a thumbs up so that other people can see it. Community over competition, guys. Leave a comment. Tell me what it is that you sell on your Etsy shop or on your website. But for now, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye, everybody.